Hey everybody, welcome to another Trash Bin Tennis Match Recap. And today I've got a thrilling battle for you here between uh, myself and one of my regular hitting partners. She describes her play style as uh, playing more defensive against me, which is why I've labeled her a pusher. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that description. Um, but to, to say the least, we have a, a slug fest every time we hit together. A lot of long points, a lot of lobs, a lot of high balls, but if, uh, if the occasion calls for it, we do have some good shots. I would call myself the uh, aggressor in, uh, in our matchup and her the uh, immovable object. You know, this is 3-5 tennis, so it's difficult to really call myself uh, an unstoppable force. But for the purpose of the matchup, uh, you know, that's what I call it. But whew, look at that. Fending off a break point with an impeccable passing shot. And gosh, that inside out forehand. She gave it to me. I don't know. Looked a little close. But whatever. I'll take it. And my serve was firing on all cylinders today. Felt really good about uh, hitting, a lot, uh, hitting a lot of serves to her backhand. And, you know, she hits deep balls occasionally, and I'm running around a lot. I'm trying to be tricky. She, I'm definitely the aggressor in this point. I'm happy with where I'm getting the balls, but she's just getting everything back. Maybe not the best drop shot, but I win the point anyway. Even if it was a little ugly, I think uh, the shots throughout the rally were great, uh, and I was really happy with it. It was just fun playing with her, mainly because I had a lot of time to think about what I wanted to do. When the ball came back, it came back slower than I was sending it. And right there, you know, down the middle was enough to get that point done. But ideally, I'd like to be hitting that out a little wider. But hey, whatever. Came away with the point. And it was, uh, we were two bulls locking horns because neither of us were given an inch in this first set. Like I said, it's always exhausting playing her. So it, these games were taking a, a long time, a lot of long points. And I get the break there. And I know uh, I'm just thrilled to get the break. And I'm up 30 love, so I can just sniff this first set as being mine. And I'm thinking there's nothing that it could possibly do to go wrong down the line. I'm like, I'm at the net, but oof, that lob. <sighs> because I don't hit with, uh, I didn't hit that with enough pace and like gave her enough time to just do what she needed to do in the point. And she was pretty precise, like she was lobbing me and you know, I got broken right back there. Not sure what caused me to mess up on that backhand, but whatever be the case, I did. And what a serve out wide from her. And running around on the move too much caused me, drew the error from me. Absolutely drew the error. I would call that, uh, she won that point rather than me losing it, even though I had the error. I mean, she, it was just a phenomenal point from her. And now I'm just serving to, uh, serving for my life to stay in this game because I want to get to the tie break. Pooper Scooper, she loves me back, and it's deep. Couldn't handle the Pooper Scooper. Into the tie break we go. Oh, no, no, no. I spoiled it. All right, yeah, uh, I win this point. That's what I'm talking about, baby. She gave me short balls, and I wanted to, uh, when she did that, I had probably a maybe a 50%, 60% success rate on capitalizing on them. Um, but that's a reoccurring theme, so pay attention to that. And what a cracker from that. Just gets the full on the line. I was in disbelief, not in disbelief, but like I didn't even go for it. I didn't expect it. Um, and here we are, level. She's getting me out wide. Oh my gosh. Now she has, she's got a two point lead on her serve. Good serve, couldn't return it. Match, set point, and sail it long. Always gotta work. Not really sure what happened there uh, at the end, but it was deflating to play such a long set and lose. There's that short ball. Not the best, uh, not a lot of pace on that, not a lot of depth on it, but I guess it, guess it gets done. And I was in the middle of that game. I sort of took it for granted that I was gonna hold, but you can't do that. You can't do that, not at this level. And I've uh, swiped it one too many balls in the air to know not to go for that. So I avoid looking like a fool, but don't worry. That'll come later in the video. Classic long shanks, decent net ball. Oof. Swatting that away. Love it, love it. Got a couple break points here. Loving where I'm at in this, uh, in this game. I'm thinking maybe if I get the break early. Whenever I've won matches from being down a set, it's always come by, uh, by getting a break early in the second set. But there I go. Sailing it long and classic long shanks. 
just stumbling over myself, disgusted with myself, really. Um, she would hold that game, squandering my attempt, and now she's uh, she's won the first point. A little bit of pressure here on my serve. I'm giving her a couple different looks at the ball, slicing a lot, and uh, bad approach right down the middle. She passed me with ease. Now I've got some real work to do to stay in this. Like I said, these games are long. And note that ball in the corner. She calls a let. There you go. <laughs> ball just came out of the court. The guy called me long shanks. Had no idea who he was. Uh, he called me long shanks. He's a subscriber. That put some wind in my sails. And I needed it to get out of that game. And because we were at deuce for so long. So many ad points. So many break points that I fended off. What a miss hit. But, you know, a junk ball, that's going to be hard for her to return. But she gets a really great shot off. Slicing defensive tennis. It spins away from me and somehow, some way, I stumble forward, slice it cross court, and get out of the game. Longest game of my life. It was a long one. It was a doozy. Um, and But back to her serve. And her serve is really interesting. She hits it. I'm not sure if it's like an inside out forehand serve. It's like a pancake that she hits it with the edge of the racket. I don't know. But she, like I said, oh my gosh. Anytime I had a bad approach and came in the net, she was lobbing me. She was lobbing me. It was pathetic. Pathetic attempt on my part. Uh, but, you know, that's 3-5 tennis. Can't do everything well. I really wish I was a 4-0, but let's be honest. The forehand holds me back. The net game holds me back. Parts of the game are there. Um, and that short ball, which I felt pretty good about that approach shot. But that was just a look of utter dismay, frustration, exasperation. Um, it's just, oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I broke her. And I have a chance here to take the second set. Ho, oh, ho, that gave me a break point. And I did convert, which brings us to a 10-point tiebreak. My arch nemesis. Let's see if I can get the job done, complete the comeback. Not looking good right off the bat. She is up a mini break. Um, and I'm throwing, uh, you know, decent, decent different looks at her. I was really happy with that shot. She gives me a short ball, and I, what a pathetic overhand. Why didn't I hit a forehand? That's the definition of shooting yourself in the foot. And I was, you know, a, a little over, a little frustrated with myself, not thinking clearly. Try a saber, which has never worked for me before. She makes me pay. And uh, at this point, I started thinking, you know what? I've seen pros. I've seen pro matches where guys come back from this. I can come back from this. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I, it's going to happen. I just need to play, uh, buckle down, play more, I don't know, consistent. Ugh. Ugh. Got a couple points back, but lost one. Now my margin for error is gone, facing three match points. I was just thinking at this point, be aggressive. Hit your serves hard. Go for two firsts. Go for crushing um, deep shots, depth kills and hit the ball as hard as I can. And I get a match point here on my serve. Too many breaks in a row. I can sense it. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm just praying that I'm able to convert here. Get a decent serve. Like, she gives me the short ball and whoa, yes, yes, I did it. Let's go. Perhaps that celebration was too much. Let me know if you think so. I was just so happy to get the win because it was such a long match and was really proud to bring you this one. Went over and talked to the subscriber after the match. Cool dude. Um, but yeah, uh, at Trashman Tennis, it's all about the tennis trash we've been. Like and subscribe and give us a comment. All right, talk to you next time.